Well, an electric car startup, Canoe, is looking to build its unconventional cars right here in Oklahoma. As the company gears up for production in Pryor, our Tyler Butler is the only Tulsa reporter to get behind the wheel of a Canoe. He has more about the driver experience in this report. It's been called by some a lunchbox on wheels. It may not be a flattering descriptor, but it's one that Canoe CEO Tony Aquila says will fall away quickly when someone starts a test drive. The car system has always sold you from a distance. What we're doing is selling you from what it can do for you. And then you're like, holy this thing, and then we take you outside, and then your mind starts to fall in love with the outside. Canoe invited me to test drive their Gamma prototype cars, starting with their test lander, which is essentially what the canoe is without the body. That body that Oklahomans are now coming to recognize is designed to maximize the interior space, essentially wrapping the front of the car around the driver with plenty of room still for passengers and cargo. Your eyes are round, mm -hmm. okay? So when you got in and out of your vehicle, notice that the car squared up your eyes. Yeah. Here, we, we're, we're amplifying your eyes by giving you a field of view. A glass panel on the front gives you a clear view of the road immediately ahead of you. Aquila says the car you see here is about 80% of what the finished model will essentially be, with that last 20% just being minor adjustments. He says the land for the plant in Pryor has been cleared and will one day be producing their entire product lineup. Everything that we'll build anywhere will be built at Pryor as well. Gotcha. Pryor's going to be the mothership of manufacturing. So, um, in fact, most of the debugging will be done in these smaller sites. The main manufacturing will then be handed over to Pryor once those bugs are worked out. Canoe is currently building eight cars a week at a facility in Detroit where they're touching up those robotic assembly systems. Those prototypes are street legal, and with 300 horsepower, they can pack a punch. Two-wheel drive in the rain. It'll scoot. Oh, yeah, it'll go. Canoe plans to be prudent in their rollout, selling them at first only in markets like Oklahoma and Arkansas, where they can address quickly the early manufacturing issues that all automakers face. Priced between $35,000 to $55,000, they expect this to be a car that people can buy, use, and upgrade potentially for decades to come. What we've done is we've democratized the vehicle, so you can't really use a vehicle to describe us because we got rid of half the parts, you know, we've given you a field of view, we're focused on your energy, like you will actually enjoy driving this car. This will save lives out of road rage. And by the way, you're on the size of a Prius wheelbase and look how much room is back there. I mean, it is, and you've got just what feels like acres ahead of you, but you still feel like you're at the front of the car. It's a very different way of doing things. One that Canoe believes is a simpler, more efficient, and a better place for the driver to be. They hope to begin production later this year or in early 2023. Tyler Butler, News Channel 8. Very cool. Well, the company's financial state has recently been called into question. Canoe says it is still committed to prior, but inflation-related construction costs are interfering with the plans. The company has a call with investors next month to discuss where it stands financially.